Hello, my beautiful Geminis. How are you? It is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This reading is for Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, and Gemini Rising. Also, if you have a Venus or Mars in Gemini in your natal chart, you may want to listen to this reading as it relates to your love life. All right, guys, you are getting the reading for March and April. I will be gone at the end of March, and I'm going to be visiting a dear, dear friend of mine. So I will not be here. So this is March and April readings. You will get a separate reading for each of the months. Okay, if you would like the extended reading, uh, please consider uh, going to my website and purchasing a subscription there to access all of the extended readings for the month of March, the month of April, and all months coming up, okay? And you get access to absolutely every single one of them. Also, by purchasing a subscription to my website, I do... Um, do uh, drawings for free readings every month and as well i do planetary aspect readings and uh tarot readings just for my members all right so just to let you guys know about that i am looking at other services to offer on my website but right now i've got enough on my plate to worry about and um, i will add things as time goes on all right thank you so much for your likes your shares your subscribes i certainly do appreciate it for those of you that would like to subscribe to my channel, please make sure that you click on the notification button or the little bell or and the little bell in the corner in case you want to be immediately notified with updates when I post my videos. All right, Geminis, let's go ahead and let's get started. Um, guys, I really appreciate all of the wonderful comments you left me, the, the wishes for well-being. Thank you so very much. For the last 35 days, I have been really under the weather. I have had issues with my health, but I am coming back on top of it. So this is awesome. All right, guys, let's go ahead and let's get into your reading, your astrological um, um, uh, placement readings here. Okay, Geminis. Well, in March, the sun and the new moon are going to be located in Pisces. This is in your 10th house of status and career. Set your new moon intentions for what you want, not for what you don't want. Also, the sun being in Pisces is lending you a lot of energy. A lot of people are focused on you as a leader as it relates to your status and your career. Please put your best foot forward. As you know, the good, the bad, the right, the wrong, the indifferent will be illuminated when the sun is in this area of your life for your status and career. A Capricorn person or a Piscean person might be of great significance as it relates to you in March regarding these aspects. Also, in April, now we have the sun going into Aries in your 11th house of hopes, wishes, dreams, goals, networks, and associations. This is an awesome opportunity for you to set your intentions for what it is you want in these areas of your life, as well as giving you a lot more energy relative to your hopes, your wishes, your dreams, your goals, your networks, and your associations as well. So this is really, really beautiful energies for the Geminis out there to get out, get seen, be a leader, and show them how it's done. The full moon is in Virgo uh, in March, in uh, right around the 1st, the 2nd, the 3rd, depending upon where you are in the world. This in Virgo for you is in your fourth house. All right, so in the fourth house, it's all about home, family, who you are at a core level, your physical domicile. Something is culminating, climaxing, or coming to an end as it relates to these areas of your life. A Virgo person or perhaps a Cancerian person is of great significance to you relative to these particular energies. Then just make sure you dot your I's and you cross your T's during this full moon as well. Then in April, we have the full moon. Um, actually, it is uh, still in um, March. It is March 31st, but for some, it's on the 1st of April. So I'm just going to say April. Okay, but the next full moon is in Libra. And for you, this is in your fifth house of children, romance, creativity, risk-taking, Okay, so all of that uh, energy there is a culmination, climax, or an ending relative to these areas in your life as it relates to potentially a Libran person in your life or a Leo person in your life. So please just be aware of that. Venus is currently in Pisces and it will be going to, into Aries in March 
for you. This is going from your 10th house into your 11th house. When Venus is in your 10th house, there's a lot of love, harmony, good teamwork, just great energy, even small financial gain as it relates to your career, as it relates to your status. So there could be something coming up here for some of you Geminis out there who, per who perhaps are going to be getting married and now you can share your expenses with somebody, but this has a positive impact on your finances and on your status. You know, I just take it for what it is worth. But here, Venus is lending a lot of harmony and a lot of love. Okay, and then it moves into Aries. And when it moves into Aries, this is in your hopes, your wishes, your dreams, your goals, your networks, and your associations here towards the latter part of March. So when you have Venus here, this is just beautiful energy to be able to manifest and bring small financial gain and love relative to, you know, your hopes, your wishes, your dreams, and your goals, whatever area that is in for you. So you could have a Pisces person, an Aries person, a Capricorn person, or an Aquarian person of great significance to you relative to these energies in March. And then in April, it does move into Taurus. Venus is going into Taurus and Gemini's out there might have a little bit of a secret rendezvous, or you might be keeping your particular romantic uh, escapades on the DL. It does not mean you're cheating and it does not mean the other person is cheating. It simply means that you just don't care uh, about anybody knowing about your business. It's like, stay out of my biz. You know, I mean, this is kind of what I'm getting from the Geminis out there. It's like, nobody needs to know what you're up to. And you don't need to be telling anybody else out there what you're up to or what your uh, significant other is up to either. Just, you know, if you want to keep it behind closed doors, you can. But here you have Taurian energy. So a Taurus may be of significance to you. A Pisces may be of significance to you relative to this particular energy. You might have a, you might be holding a flame for a Piscean person or a Taurian person. You might have a secret love for them and you just can't let it out right now. Maybe you have to keep it on the DL. Maybe there's something going on here where you want to reveal to somebody how you feel about them in April. This could be coming up for some of you Geminis out there. So please be aware that you do have things as they relate, as they relate to, you know, your self-value, your possessions, um, unconscious, subconscious healing, hospitals, research, psychological, um, you know, uh, perceptions or, or uh, psychic abilities, as well as perhaps um, you know, romance and or clandestine affairs. So just be aware of that. Mars is uh, in your seventh and eighth house in March. And for you, this is going from Sagittarius into Capricorn. When Mars is in the seventh and eighth house, you may have a very aggressive or passionate male around you. Now, if you're a male, you can still have an aggressive or passionate male, but this person is generally um, going to be from uh, the Libran type of a variety or it is going to be the scorpio uh, energy as well perhaps sagittarius and capricorn as well so be aware that that male energy is out there move it more towards the passionate side as opposed to the aggressive side relative to your business partnerships your romantic partnerships your your uh, intimacy your joint finances okay all of that so just kind of be aware of that particular type of energy then Mars stays in Capricorn throughout April. In this particular case, you've got a Capricorn person, you've got a Scorpio person that is of great significance to you, showing you love through passion and or aggression. Um, perhaps if it's not love, it is going to be aggression. Or perhaps there could be a little bit of jealousy getting incited um, relative to uh, this person might be asking you where you're at, you know, what are you doing, when are you going to be home, that type of thing. It's a passing phase. Don't worry about it. Mars is in your eighth house. That's going to happen. There could be a lot of possession as it relates to joint finances as well. Somebody might be very possessive of their finances. So just kind of be aware of that. But again, a Capricorn male or a Scorpio male may be of significance to you relative to this. And then Mercury is going to be in um, Aries throughout March and throughout April. But we do have a retrograde period happening on March 22nd. And what is happening here is this is going on in your 11th house of hopes, wishes, dreams, goals, networks, and associations. There is something that you are revisiting 
perhaps communication you are revisiting, perhaps you are revisiting a place that you've been to before. This could have something to do with an Aries person. It does look really, really good because what I am sensing here is this communication has you going over something perhaps that got um, kind of put on the table or, or put on the back burner and now you're ready to discuss it again. Anything with re around it, is going to be of great significance to you. There could be the aspects of, um, you know, thinking outside of the box, friendships, networks, all of that. So just kind of be aware of that particular type of energy. All right, gems, let's go ahead and let's get started on your March 2018 tarot reading. What is going on for the Geminis for the March 2018 tarot reading? What are the energies for Geminis? What are the energies for Geminis? March. All right, the general energies for you, Gemini, in March are this. Then we have the energies for your work life and financial life. What are the energies for your work life and financial life? Here we go, Gems. What is the energy for your emotional life and love life, Gems? Here's emotional life and love life. What do we have going on for your health and your well-being, Gems? Your health and your well-being in March. Health and well-being for Geminis in March. There we go. And then let's see what we have going on for your energy oracle card advice. Energy oracle card advice, Geminis. Well, this isn't the energy oracle card. This is actually the oracle of visions. Here it is, Geminis. All right, Gems, let's see what we've got going on here. Well, Geminis, for you, for the month of March, you do have the Three of Cups as your general energy. There is celebration, there's union, there's friendship. You could be celebrating with the females in your life. You could be having a good time, you know, talking over philosophy with a really nice glass of wine. This is definitely coming up here. I would also caution the Geminis out there to watch your drinking. Please make sure you do not drink and drive. Please make sure that you, you are moderate as it relates to your drinking as well. There is some sort of conclusion. There's some sort of solace. There's some sort of a happy ending is what I'm hearing here. It's like all's well that ends well in the Gemini world right now. There is a celebration. There is something going on relative to perhaps a christening, a baby shower, a wedding, a bachelorette party, a bachelor party. So just kind of be aware of that particular energy. I would also um, warn some of the Geminis out there to stay away from gossip. That is also kind of coming in here. Um, there is a phrase that is coming in, but I just lost it. So maybe they'll send it back in as, as we keep going forward. But um, this is certainly coming in here for some of you Geminis as well. So please take an opportunity to spend time with friends, uh, celebrate friendship, and just be together in uh, camaraderie, love, and companionship. And this is going to be a great month for you. So what do we have going on for your work life and your financial life? For your work life and financial life, Geminis, you do have the Four of Wands. When it comes to the Four of Wands with work life and financial life, you are moving into a location. You are uh, moving into a group of people that are very family oriented. They treat you like family. You treat them like family. They're very welcoming to you. You're very welcoming to them. This is a very, very good bond. This is a good professional bond. This could be a partnership. This could be celebration over a big win, a big client, whatever it is. This is really, really beautiful energy. For some of you Geminis out there, you are celebrating, you know, a marriage, a birth, an engagement, um, you know, a christening, something like that. And you're entertaining in your home. So this could be affecting your finances for whatever reason, or your finances or your work life is being affected because you need to take time out or you need to take time away from work in order to entertain, in order to um kind of put your feet back and kind of put your feet up and, you know, just kind of like, hey, I'm just chilling out, you know, in March because I've worked my butt off and I want to relax. So this could be going on for some of you Geminis out there. For other Geminis out there, there is somebody uh, at your workplace or as it relates to finances that are just 
really, really welcoming you uh, with open arms. I mean, this is just beautiful, beautiful energy. There is also something going on here as it relates to foundations. So right now, Geminis, you really want to look at your financial foundations. Make sure you're putting enough money and savings away so that you have money for a rainy day as well. Uh, make sure, I just heard, make sure you have three months worth of um, uh, income in your savings account. So uh, that is something that you can rely on if something were to happen. I'm not saying anything is going to happen. I'm just saying it's always a good idea to do that. For others of you out there, as it relates to um, finances, there could be a new home, a new apartment, um, some new location that you are um, considering as a maybe a second home or as an alternate home, or maybe perhaps you're moving into a community, a different community. That could be what is going on. For some of you, perhaps you are selling your home and you are celebrating the sale of your home so that you can embark on your new beginning. So what do we have going on? And for those of you uh, that are looking for a job, you are going to find a job and it is going to be a perfect fit for you. I mean, this is absolutely awesome. Okay. So what do we have going on as it relates to um, your emotional life and your love life? For your emotional life and love life, um, uh, Geminis, you do have the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is all about value. Okay. This is about somebody valuing you, you valuing somebody else. What I am sensing here is there's some sort of awareness regarding how to value one another, um, regarding how to understand one another relative to uh, values, core values. Okay, so maybe perhaps, Gemini, you think in a certain way and then somebody else thinks in a certain way, but maybe they don't match up and maybe they made decisions based on their core values and you made decisions based on your core values. And now what's going on here is there's a little bit of a mismatch. But just remember this, Gemini, you've got to value yourself more than anything. For some of you, Geminis, you might be giving a gift to somebody. For others of you, Geminis, you might be receiving a gift uh, from someone else. For some of you, Geminis out there, you are putting money in home improvements. So please be aware of that as well. You could be doing that with a spouse. You could be doing that with a significant other. For others of you out there, uh, you Geminis out there, there could be something regarding money um relative to a relationship now granted guys this could be something that is um that is being looked at with a sense of remorse so this could be perhaps for some of you you might be separating from somebody you might be getting a divorce from somebody there might be regrets regarding a purchase perhaps a purchase that you gave another or a purchase that somebody gave you but there's some sort of regret here that did come up for another sign as well. I'm trying to remember who that was, but there was some sort of regret as it related to a purchase. I think perhaps it was Pisces. So some of you Geminis might be related to a Pisces, married to a Pisces, seeing a Pisces, friends with a Pisces. It's definitely something going on here. Somebody may have put out a lot of money to be with you, to spend time with you, or you may have put out a lot of money to be with them and spend time with them. But there is something coming up here, Geminis, where you know, perhaps you have to remove yourself from your family life in order to spend time with them, or uh, they have to remove themselves from their family life and their loved ones in order to spend time with you. But there is something coming up here. For a small percentage of you Geminis out there, there is somebody perhaps in your life that you put a lot of effort in, you put a lot of investment in, and um, now you have great regret because it did not turn out the way that you wanted it to turn out. They were more about partying and having fun instead of having more of a committed bond, more of a special bond with you. It was more of a risk taking type of energy. And then you, it turned out to be very, very toxic for you for whatever reason. So you decided to turn away from that toxicity. You've learned your lesson, but the thing was, is you really did love this person. This person really did love you. And perhaps you had to leave somebody else in order to be with this toxic person and now that this toxic person is gone, you're going back into your past and you're looking at your past and saying, I should have never let that person go. I should have, I should have just waited. I should have just been patient. Why couldn't have I just told that person how I felt? Or why couldn't that person just told, just could have told me how they felt about me? But this energy is coming up here. So what do we have going on as it relates to your uh, health and your well-being? 
Your health and well-being for March of 2017 is the Five of Cups, Gemini. So there is some sort of regret. There is some sort of loss that is coming up relative to your health. For some of you, I just keep hearing for some of you Geminis out there, you fell in love with somebody or you're, you started dating somebody who was an absolute alcoholic. They were absolutely out all the time. All they wanted to do was party. And you're just kind of like, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? You know, the thing is, Gemini's is sometimes these people can be really fun, the really fun, <laughs> really fun at the beginning of the relationship. But after you get to know them, you realize that they carry a lot of toxicity. I am hearing for some of you, Gemini, somebody did try to warn you about this, but you did not listen to them. So this message actually came up for Sagittarius. Um, and I think it was the B weeklies or of last time or the February reading, uh, for a uh, Sagittarius, but there was something. So some of you might be, um, attached to a Sagittarius or somebody might have Sagittarius in your, in your chart, but there is something like somebody warned you about this and you didn't listen and they were just trying to be your friend. They were just trying to let you know what was going on. You decided to do what you wanted to do anyway, against your own intuition, against um, like, it's almost like God was giving you these messages and universe was giving you these messages. Like, you know what? Here's the thing, Gemini, this may not be in your best interest. Okay. So you decided to go against that interest and you did it anyway. And so now you're regretting it. Or perhaps for some of you Geminis, you are getting over a regret right now. Perhaps there was something that you went back to and you're like, why did I ever go back to that? That was such a waste of my time. I mean, I am so much happier without that person in my life. Now that I know better, I am not going to make that same mistake twice. So that could be coming up as well. As it relates to health and well-being, uh, for some of you Geminis out there, you've really got to detox. Your body is full of toxins for whatever reason. Now, remember, you might be eating well. You might be taking care of yourself, but you can still absorb toxins from the atmosphere, from the energies around you. So do your best to get yourself detoxified from that particular type of energy. Uh, for some of you Geminis, you are so regretful regarding something with your health. Maybe you did something about your health in the past. Maybe it was a diet. Maybe it was a medication. And now it is affecting you in a negative manner in the present point in time. So just be aware of that, Geminis. So Geminis, what do we have going on as it relates to your um, advice? Uh, look at this. You know, uh, Gemini's, this is, uh, the picture basically of, um, you know, this, uh, this gentleman, he, he took off his mask and there is a woman from his past that is touching his face. And uh, the interpretation, um, in this deck is one of a man that has moved on, but yet he's still looking at his past. That could very well be for some of you men out there, but it could also be for some of you women out there. But what I'm getting from what's going on around here is that this man really hasn't moved on. He wants to go back to that past. He wants to get the answers that he seeks. So for some of you Geminis out there, you may need to go back to your past and close that chapter. That could be something that you need to do before you embark on a new chapter. For others of you Geminis out there, you may need to go back to your past and be there in, in, I mean, full frontal. I mean, really just like take the mask off, be yourself. Don't try to be anybody else but yourself. Love like you want to love, be like you want to be. This is what is coming up for some of you out there to simply revisit that past. Take a look, make sure you can't move forward with it or make sure that it's not salvageable. If it's not salvageable, move forward and let the past go. All right, Geminis, let's see what we've got going on for you for the month of April as well. What is the general energy for the Geminis for the month of April? General energies for Geminis. Here's the general energies, Geminis. What do we have going on as it relates for, uh, to the work life and financial life for the month of April? There we go. What do we have going on for our emotional life and love life for the month of April, Geminis? Emotional life and love life for the month of April, Geminis. There it is. 
And what do we have going on as it relates to your health and well-being for the month of April? Health and well-being for the month of April. There we go. All right, Geminis. And what do we have going on as it relates to your advice for the month of April? What is the advice for Geminis for the month of April? Here we go, Gems. All right, Geminis, what have we got going on for the month of April? And I'm just picking up also as it relates to health and well-being for some of you Geminis. There was something that you do regret doing. There was something here that you should have done and you didn't do it. And I am sensing here, um, you know, that there could be something uh, relative to, like, if we look at this, and I know it's a guy, I get that it's a guy, okay? But you see how his... Even though he's like really super ripped, I mean, this guy is ripped, right? Okay, so he is actually, it kind of looks like he's pregnant. His, his, his tummy is sticking out. <laughs> so for some of you Geminis out there, it could be the Gemini, it could be someone around you Gemini, but somebody could be pregnant. Um, I'm also seeing this band around his arm, if you can see that. To me, that looks like a tourniquet. So there's something going on for some of you Geminis relative to a tourniquet around your arm. Maybe somebody's taking your blood. Uh, maybe you need to pump up your, your blood vessels for some reason, I don't know. But there could be something going on here. For other Geminis out there, there might be something going on with an addiction as well. So just be aware of that energy, but let's, I'm done with that now. Let's go ahead and let's get into your energies for April. So April, for your general energies, you do have leadership, Gemini. This is beautiful. So for some of you Geminis out there, there is something very specific coming in as it relates to leadership. Leadership is part of your life. You need to be a leader. You need to step into your leadership. This could possibly be because you still have some of that energy uh, sitting in Pisces because we still have some of those planets in Pisces. And this is where you really need to be a strong leader in your life, in your spirit life, your body, your work life, your home life, your family life. Some of you Geminis out there might be moving forward into leadership practices. You might be uh, deciding to open up a business as it relates to leadership. So kind of be aware of that particular type of energy. Also, the sun is in Aries and we do have sunstone here. So I am going to say that an Aries person might be of significance to you uh, coming up here in April, as well as perhaps um, we have uh, somebody coming up here. Uh, the ruler um, uh, of Leo is the sun. So this could also be a Leo person of great significance in your life relative to something culminating, relative to some type of celebration or something like that. So please be aware of that. So what do we have going on for your work life and financial life? For your work life and financial life, you have action and carnelian. So basically what this is, is it's basically saying that, you know, if you want to make a difference in your work life, um, in your financial life, you've got to take action. You've got to stop sitting on the fence. You've got to make a decision. Gemini's come hell or high water. This is something you've just got to make a decision. Not making a decision is still making a decision. It's almost like that, um, what I want to say, that that song by Rush, it's um, I Will Choose Free Will. Listen to that song by Rush because that is definitely coming through for some of you Geminis out there. So you need to take action. You need to have passion as it relates to uh, your work. You are passionate about your work. You do want to take action with your work. And this is being supported. Take that leap of faith. Just go for it. All right, Geminis? So, you know, don't sit there and be indecisive. Just do it and see what happens. The thing is, is if it doesn't work out, eh, go back to the drawing board. Who cares? At least you're getting the energy moving. So this is something you may want to do. Uh, also, you may want to wear carnelian crystals uh, to work or when you are, um, you know, uh, conducting work and financial transactions because this might provide you with that energy and that passion that will help you to align your energies to bring you abundance. So that could certainly be as well. 
For others of you, because it is sitting right below the four of wands, I am sensing that action means you've got to take action as it relates to a home, as it relates to a romance, as it relates to uh, some sort of entertainment or some sort of purchase or updating uh, with a home. So just kind of be aware of that energy, Geminis. So what do we have going on as it relates to your emotional life and love life? For your emotional life and love life, you do have courage, bloodstone. So as it relates to your emotional life and love life, uh, Gemini, there is something regarding blood here. I don't know what this means, but I am sensing maybe paternity testing is being done here to make sure um, that uh, a child is yours and perhaps not somebody else's. And you have to get the courage to say, you know what, I don't believe that that child is mine. I want you to go and get a paternity test. I am not saying that that is for everyone out there that's pregnant or everybody out there that, you know, maybe having a child. It is not. It is only for a very few percentage of you. I am just getting somebody's getting their blood taken. They're paying for this blood to be taken. It is in your emotional life and love life. So for some reason, and there is some sort of regret with your health. So there's something going on regarding blood. Perhaps you're getting your blood drawn to see if um, you know the blood type of the husband or the, the male and the blood type of the female or the wife or the girlfriend or whatever to make sure that they're compatible. So you don't have to get Rogam when you actually have uh, the baby or something like that. But there is something coming up here regarding blood. Uh, there is a need for you to be very courageous relative to your emotional life and your love life. You might have to put money down um, to create a new beginning in your love life, in your emotional life, in your family life. All right. So you have to be very courageous. You might have to tell somebody, you know what? I want a divorce. Um, you know what? I love you. Okay. Whatever it is, gather up, garner up the courage, Gemini's, get her done, get it out of your mouth and move on because there's no sense in you being indecisive. There is nothing worse than, um, than a Gemini that is dealing with people who are constantly trying to get their attention because the Gemini has not been clear to them on where they stand in their life. Be aware of that, Gemini, that is coming up here. So you just have to be courageous here in the month of April to express what you need to express to your family, to your loved ones, and to perhaps somebody that you're dating. Perhaps you need to tell somebody you're pregnant. All right. So that is coming up here. What do we have going on as it relates to your health and your well-being? You do have will, Malachite. And as it relates to will, there is... Perhaps for some of you uh, Geminis out there, there is somebody by the name of William. There's somebody by the name of Will. There could be somebody by uh, the last name could be William or Williams, something like that. But there is something coming up here uh, with Will, free will. This is so interesting. This is like what I was, you know, just picking up with that song about Rush with free will. So this is definitely coming up here. You have a decision to make. Perhaps you were on the fence before you made that decision and now you're regretting being on the fence. For some of you, maybe you made a decision and you're regretting that decision. You know what, gems, it happens to everybody. Pick up your boot, pick yourself up by your bootstraps and move on. It just is what it is. Accept the fact that what happened happened. It's in the past. Move on into your future. There is something here where your mind is actually having an effect on your physical body. So gems, if you can do a little bit of um, meditation, if you can do maybe chakra clearing or something like that, and you know connect with your divine self, you might have um, a better outcome as it relates to your health. For some of you, you may wanna get hypnotized as it relates to your health, perhaps there is an ailment, Perhaps there is an addiction that you need to um, let go of in your life and you are willing to perhaps do you know, a past life regression or a hypnotic type of procedure in order for you to get on top of this addiction or get on top of this issue that you have regret about. So that could be what's going on for some of you Geminis out there. The advice for you Geminis, once again, you got it double, you've got action. So Geminis, there's something you need to take action on. For some Geminis out there, get off the couch, get on that treadmill, go out and walk, go out and run, whatever you need to do, get moving, Geminis, get moving. You need 
to increase your metabolism. You need to increase your, um, your expenditure of calories, so to speak. You need to start, um, getting that furnace going, you know, um, maybe you want to go on a, a high protein, low carb diet or something like that and get that furnace stoked and get that fire going again. So you can reduce the amount of fat that's, you know, in your body for whatever reason, it doesn't have to be for all of you, but for some of you, it could be as it relates to action. I'm, I'm talking about action in any area of your life, any area of your life, work life, financial life, emotional life, love life, health and well-being, spiritual life. Take action, Gemini. It's time. Stop sitting on the fence. You, you got to let that past go. If you don't want to let the past go, then go back to the past, revisit it, close the book or start a new chapter. And then you're just better off. And so is everybody else. Doesn't matter what the outcome is. What matters is you have the truth now so you can move on or move forward. All right, Gems, I hope you like this reading. Please consider getting a subscription to my website and I will pull a few cards here to see what the uh, clarifying energy is for this next couple months for your extended reading. I wish you much light, much love and many blessings. Namaste.